Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing the really good. So in this playlist, we are going to learn about how we can connect with the key vault, how we can get the values from key vault, how we can update it with the help of the Spring Boot. Okay, so I am logged in my, you know, uh, Azure portal here where you go to the resource and type key vault. Okay, you get that. Okay, here you go and type key vault. You get it here. Okay, so I have already created one. So in a similar lens, I'll try to create one more and show it to you. What are the configurations I have, you know, preferred here. So uh, this is a subscription and, uh, uh, you know, uh, resource group. And what is a key vault name that you wanted to keep? Let me keep it as keyboard three. Okay. And uh, pricing and after how many days this field is after how many days we need to, you know, delete the values. Let me keep it as seven because this is like a test version only to me, right? Click on next here. Uh, I have taken uh, vault access policy. Okay. Then uh, uh, permission model I have taken as a vault access uh, and uh, to the access policy. This is the access policy that I have and what are the permissions that I'm going to do with this access policy is get list update create import and delete that means i can create a secret i can update a secret i can delete a secret i can go into list the secrets and i can update the already existing secret okay then so this is very important uh, when i when i found out when i'm doing little bit of research this is where i struck a lot so i have updated to this permission model okay then uh, review and uh, it will automatically gets created okay since i have already created it i'm not going to do that okay but this is a uh, one so after waiting for some time you will get something like this you know key vault being created okay so there are some sort of uh, parameters that you need to get before uh, trying to integrate with the uh, with the uh, Spring Boot, okay. If you wanted to add any secrets, you just go here. Let me put this is here. Yeah. So if you want to add any secret, go to the secrets, then click on uh, click on generate. This will automatically create a secret for you. Okay. Let me create something like um, what is a secret? Let's say like uh, version. Okay. As a secret and the secret value what is the value that you wanted to keep okay let me keep let's say like instead of version let me keep it as welcome okay as a secret name and i wanted to keep welcome to uh, key vault world as a secret name and i can set my activate my you know activation and expiry date as well if you have not set it will be default okay and click on a create this will be created for you okay then you go here current version and if you come down here show secret value this is a value this we are going to fetch it from our spring boot slowly okay so uh, before do that go to your key vault i wanted to show one thing important here so go here to the down and uh, you have this java version right go to the java and uh, come down a bit here uh, we are working on that secrets right so select this reference and you need to uh, get few few items here okay so what are those items i am going to tell you okay so go to your azure cloud shell uh, yeah azure cloud shell is fine this will create a directory for the first time if you are already having it well and good okay so then you copy this command what they are saying is uh, resource group and your key vault name okay so yeah not that first is this one okay this is a uh, service principle you copy this command here and the output you will going to get these values okay so if you copy and your application name is some application name you can give it okay so i did that and uh, i'll show you my results here yeah so uh, 
for me these are the details i have got okay app id and all okay this app id is nothing but for me a azure client id okay you see here azure client id whatever the app id we are getting so that you need to configure in your system variables that is important basically in order to connect you need to configure few items that's why this is very important stage okay so here whatever you could see right so is nothing but what you are what you are seeing here is few items right what are those items as you client id as you secret as you uh, authentication id you see as you client id is nothing but the response you are getting from here okay so this is my client uh, app id is nothing but my client id and secret azure client secret is nothing but your password okay and azure tenant id is nothing but your uh, tenant id okay after you perform this step okay i am going to put this in the description so that it's very easy for you guys to follow okay so this is like a 10 minutes of work you need to do so once you did that what you need to do is you need to execute this command okay what is this command is doing is it is going to set the policies for our uh, key vault okay so these are the policies we have i mean uh, permissions sorry it is going to set uh, the permissions here like uh, delete gate that we have seen here right while creating so those permissions it is going to set by uh, just copy pasting this command here if you observe your key vault name is there right this key vault name is nothing but the name that you have created okay and also the client id is nothing but your app id okay you need to change these details okay so i have did in a similar way and uh, what is the results i found is like this i have found okay this much big thing i have found okay then once you have set these items in your in your you know uh, environment variables click on ok then restart your system in our next video we are going to see how we can connect with the uh, spring boot thank you so much for watching thank you it's